What's going on everyone? Today I have a, a Beatles video for you all and I'm going to be showing the Beatles in mono box sets. A few months ago I did a video on the stereo box set, so let's get to the mono box set. So here's the front as you can see, and this is also not a fake one. This is a official version. So here's the front here. Take this out really quick. Here's the side really. Bottom, top, the other side. And then here's the back. And this was not glued on, so it just came off. But here's the back slip. Complete mono recordings, 185 songs. Replica miniature LP packaging. Comes from, goes from Please Please Me all the way to the White Album. And it also includes Past Masters. So, put that over here. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, just, you're probably going to notice right away that none of the albums have the shrink wrap or that individual, like, uh, resealable bag. Well, I did have them on there, but unfortunately the one for Sgt. Pepper uh, kind of tore apart. So I took that off. And I kind of have a little OCD, so I took all of them off. I still have the bags that are actually in that bin over there. You can kind of see that one right there, but oh well. So, so the first thing you get in the front here is the booklet, which kind of goes over, like, why listen to the Beatles in mono? Like, why, why is it superior? And I like that picture. So, so let's get started. So here is Please Please Me. And I really like how how they did it with the uh, where they made it similar to how it was on vinyl, just a lot smaller because the art the artwork on here is a lot more faded compared to uh, the stereo album as you can see. See how it's a lot more darker. And I know that it's not and again it's not fake, but they did that as intentionally to kind of give a vinylish look to it. And every single one also comes with a sleeve, and all the and all the discs are housed in a little plastic baggie. So, so in there, there's the uh, disc is in there. So, I do think that's pretty cool how they did that. I'm not gonna take the discs out. I'm just gonna show you the slip, just a quick show of the slip each for each album. Next up we have With The Beatles. Sorry if the focus is pretty bad. But there's that, there's the slip. Next up we have Hard Day's Night. I'm thinking about getting the, uh, the US albums. Here's the slip there. Put that there. Next up we have Beatles for Sale. And this one actually opens up like this. And the disc is in here. The CD's in here. Hang on a second. Sorry if you can't really see in the video, but the CD is right there. Next up we have Help, and these, this mono disc actually includes the original stereo release of Help because the stereo release for the stereo box set as well as for Rubber Soul were George Martin's kind of like remix, stereo remix of the, or stereo mix of the album. So the ones you get on Help and Rubber Soul are the original stereo mixes. So I think that's pretty cool. Because again, the uh, ones in the stereo box set are the ones, the George Martin re re uh, mixes from the 80s, I think. So, sorry, the box fell over. Here's Rubber Soul. Next 
Next up we have Revolver. And I know the, the stereo box that had the spelling errors, I don't know about this one, but as you can see, the spelling is correct. So, sorry about the focus too, I, uh, I got a new phone, so I apologize if the focus is kind of acting up. Next up, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's cool how you have all the lyrics right there. This one opens up here. On this side you have the, uh, I think this is like the, kind of like, draft of the cover, I think. But that's what you get on that side. And on the other side you get the, uh, the disc which is housed in uh, this sleeve. And when you buy the set, the sleeve is separated from the disc, so... So I just I just put them together just to uh, make it look nicer, I guess. Next up, Magical Mystery Tour. And this includes the 24-page full-color picture book. And I know on the fake box set, this sentence is omitted on the cover. But again, this is a real official version, which is nice to have. So I'm not going to go through all the pictures. I'm just going to kind of like flash through them. There's that. And then the disc is in here. Got a second. There we go. Yeah, so it's in here. And then the last studio album we have in here is the Beatles or the White Album. So there's the embossed words there. And here's the back. And then we open it up, here you have the song list here, and then the pictures here. And so on this side, you have the disc as well as, I believe this is the big poster, I think? Yeah, a giant poster right here. And then the disc is housed in this little sleeve here. Well, disc one is housed in this sleeve here. And then on this side, you have the other, this disc two, which is in right here. And then you also have the cards, which are the pictures here, but just in color. So let me just pull them out real quick. So there's John Lennon, yeah. Paul McCartney, George Harrison. And then behind that, sorry, I'm doing this one hand. Ringo Star. Let me just put these back real quick. I could use my tripod, but I just kind of wanted to do this video fast, so I apologize for the bad camera work here. But if anyone has the uh, the, the Beatles U.S. albums box set. Let me know if it's worth picking up, because I'm thinking about getting it, like I said. So that's the white album. And then lastly, we have Mono Masters, which is basically past masters, but in mono. However, there are some songs, I think, that are in here that are not in the past masters. And then past masters has some songs that are not on mono masters. So, yeah. But here you have this and then these don't have sleeves they just have the paper the paper sleeves they don't have like the vinyl sleeves but there's disc one which has the parlophone logo and then disc two actually has the apple so i think that's pretty cool how they did that So yeah, that's just about it. That's what you get when you buy the Beatles box set in mono. I do think it's worth picking up because, again, I think mono, for a good amount of the albums that uh, the Beatles have made, the mono format is a little bit more superior because that's kind of the way the Beatles intended. And again, there is no Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, or Let It Be on in this box set. Because that's when 
the Beatles started becoming more stereo. So, you do get everything else though, which I think is pretty good. And from a video that I saw, I heard that, um, Please Please Me with the Beatles, uh, Help, Rubber Soul, and Revolver, and Sgt. Pepper all have their benefits for being in mono, because I heard the stereo that you hear is fake stereo. So I heard if you want to hear the best, or not really the best, but like the true definitive versions of the Beatles to go with the mono box set. And then for everything else, to uh, give a look, give a listen to the stereo box set, or listen to the stereo albums. And it's unfortunate that none of the mono albums are available separately. You can only buy the stereo ones separately. And I forgot the book. So in there. So yeah, that's just about it. Thank you all for watching this video on the. Beatles and Mono box sets. I hope you all enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.